Good morning and welcome to our Clean Edge Razor presentation. On behalf of Jim Brady, Megan Davis, Peter Jellison, Nick Radio, Chris Smith, Matt Scoble, and myself, Cassandra Katsalakis, I'd like to thank you for attending. The retail razor market is a $1.9 billion market comprised of non-disposable razors, refill cartridges, disposable razors, creams, and depilatories. Over the last five years, a compounded annual growth rate of 2% has been observed with the growth driver being in the non-disposable razor space, which has grown at a rate of 4%. This space has achieved superior growth via the launch of 22 new products between 2008 and 2009. Paramount has analyzed this area of growth as an opportunity to expand and grow the business. The retail channel is segmented into three key customer buying groups, food stores, drug stores, and mass merchandisers, making up 95% of sales. There are three customer segments, social, emotional, aesthetic, and maintenance. Social and emotional make up 39% of the non-disposable razor market. They differentiate among products and search for products based on functionality and messaging. Shaving is an essential part of a daily grooming ritual. Aesthetic make up 28% of the group and shave consistently to remove unwanted hair. Maintenance are less involved and view products all the same. Their routine is inconsistent and they aim to finish as quickly as possible. The super premium market makes up over a third of the market and is driven by conscious shavers. Given the innovation and cost of the clean edge, it could fall into two possible categories. Will this be a mainstream or niche product? The mainstream positioning would focus on the advantage of providing the closest possible shave. This would require a $42 million marketing budget year one, as well as a capacity of 3.3 million units. A niche approach would focus on the fastidious groomers looking for a superior shave experience. Year one would require a $15 million marketing budget and capacity of 1 million units. When considering the risks of encroachment by Clean Edge on Paramount's other products, we must consider how it will be placed relative to Paramount's existing products, as well as the landscape of non-disposable razors. We should consider revenue implications on how Clean Edge will compete with its own product portfolio under both strategies. Paramount's current products compete in the lower end on both quality and price. With Clean Edge, Paramount will be for the first time entering the high quality, high price realm. Under a mainstream approach, the clean edge will be priced at $11.19 a razor. Under the niche strategy, it'll be $12.99 a razor. This is tops in both price and quality. Both strategies see clean edge cannibalizing existing revenue. With a mainstream approach, there's a lot of cannibalization. Mainstream approach will see clean edge cannibalizing $12.8 million or 60% of revenue compared to $7.5 million or 35% if we took the niche approach. The niche approach is appropriate for this product. 39% of non-disposable razor users identify as social emotional shavers. They seek a product that's functional in addition to a message that speaks to them. They treat shaving as a daily grooming ritual. We feel that these people would respond well to a niche product. Positioning our razor in the niche market also prevents cannibalizing the Paramount Pro, which is Paramount's top selling razor and exists in the mainstream marketplace. It is estimated that 60% of consumers who will purchase this new razor in the mainstream marketplace are already existing Paramount customers. If we switch this to the niche marketplace, this number drops to 35%. Being in the niche market isn't a permanent decision, though. If we later decide to switch this to a mainstream product, we can adjust accordingly. The marketing budget also played a factor in our decision. There have been rumors of cost cutting throughout the company, and we worried that we would not be given full access to a budget for a mainstream product. A decrease in overall cost was a major factor in the decision between mainstream and niche. Through choosing niche, we were committing to a lower, lower marketing budget by over $25 million. With a prior budget of marketing being $48.3 million, a need for savings was important. The difference in savings between producing a niche razor needing only approximately $15 million in funds versus a mainstream one needing $42 million in funds made our decision clear. Although volume of the niche market is expected to be three times less than mainstream, the savings in marketing and increased earnings from a niche product make the decision worth it. The niche product might sell less and cost more, but the savings in marketing made us believe it would be best move forward with this product. We will now look at the SWOT analysis for Clean Edge by Paramount. The strengths, the weakness, the opportunities, and the threats. Paramount has been an established player in the personal health, cleansing, beauty, and grooming areas. Since 1962, the company has been making and selling non-disposable razors. This history has developed a loyal customer base that includes all generations. As a market leader, Paramount has dominated by taking 23.3% of the market share for non-disposable razors. The leadership of the company understands the technology and the customers are moving ahead. The innovations that the Jackson Randall team have generated are reflective of the overall culture of the organization. 
the team has been able to develop a clean edge razor with the ability to provide a more personal shaving experience. This new product will provide a smoother shave with up to 25% more hair removal, along with improving overall skin conditioning. Paramount's two non-disposable razors have an established market, but they are moderate in value products. Paramount is losing market share by not participating in the super premium market, which is 34% of the $218 million that were spent in 2010. When Clean Edge is introduced, the potential for cannibalization will exist. The Pro and Avail Razor are no longer at the front of the game. They have been on the market for over five years. These products are becoming simple compared to the new razors entering the market from Prince, Ben and Klein, and others. Clean Edge avails Paramount of the market that it was not able to attain previously. The market has shown a continual 5% growth over the past few years. There has been a trend to replace razor blades more frequently. The $853 million spent in this area in 2010 shows the significance of wanting this segment of the business. Clean Edge, with a larger, heavier handle that provides better balance while shaving, is a kicking off point for this new product line. With five blades and a vibrating surface, that brings whiskers closer to the skin surface, Clean Edge will be the technological leader. After the initial rollout, the product will be repositioned to provide similar benefits to the female user. The male and female markets mirror each other. The market is shifting to other retail outlets besides drug and grocery stores, which provides greater opportunities to display the breadth of Paramount's product line. From 2008 to 2009, 22 new SKUs hit the non-disposable razor market. Of these, most were targeted at the super premium segment. Simpson is introducing their new Nave razor in September of 2010. This release will be four to five months ahead of our product and it will include pulsing features that are directly competitive to Clean Edge. The Nave technology anticipates to take 13% of the market share. Paramount is a known company with strong product lines, but they have not traditionally gone after the super premium segment. The company will need to show why they belong. Prince and Bennett and Klein, with a combined 47.3% of the market, will quickly adjust to the new products. Therefore, our product team will need to monitor and identify new advances in technology to maintain Clean Edge as the leader in this segment. 27% of men use electric shavers due to the ease of maneuverability and reduced skin irritation. Though users generally are older consumers, the potential exists for this market to try to tie into the vibrating pulsating shaving trend. The market conditions for non-disposable razor sales has been moderate, with approximately 5% growth from 2007 to 2010. Within this single growth environment, it will be important to focus product development on a market segment that shows the highest growth. In reviewing the data, the super premium market segment has the highest dollar per volume ratio of any class at 1.4 compared to 1.0 for moderate and 0.7 for value. Thus, the company stands to benefit the most in the super premium category. Additionally, the initial feedback of the Clean Edge Razor was promising for this niche market. Closest, cleanest, and smoothest shave, indicating the product will perform well within this higher expectations group. Additionally, the existing Paramount Avail and Pro Market offerings that currently exist in their respective value and moderate categories have not been upgraded in five years. Once the super premium class is introduced, the company should plan on product refreshers for these segments of the market to maintain their 23.3% retained unit share. The new razor will be sold as Clean Edge by Paramount because it will be launched into the niche market rather than the mainstream market. Launching into the niche market eliminates cannibalism to the Pro Razor, which is already being sold in the mainstream market. Launching the new product under the name Clean Edge by Paramount suits the razor's sleek, ultra-thin design with five vibrating blades. The Clean Edge razor has been thought of as a major breakthrough in male grooming. Clean Edge by Paramount allows the product to stand apart and be distinguished from the current line sold by Paramount, such as the Pro Razor, allowing the product to be marketed as its own entity rather than focus mainly on the company name will reduce cannibalism of the current products being sold, especially the Pro Razor, which is being marketed as a mainstream product. Our final recommendation is to launch the Clean Edge Razor in the niche market. By entering the niche market as opposed to the mainstream market, Minimal cannibalism of the Pro Razor will take place. Additionally, the launch will utilize a marketing budget of $15 million, which is $27 million less than if the product were to be launched into the mainstream market. Finally, the Razor will be labeled as Clean Edge by Paramount to distinguish it from the other existing Paramount products.